Hey, Todd, I'm pretty happy with the trophy base that you knocked out in X Design, but uh, now it's my turn to model uh, the dog in X Shape. Okay, but before we jump into that, though, can I show you something real quick, just so everyone knows where they can go and learn even more about using SolidWorks X Design for makers. From the default dashboard, if you double click the title bar for the welcome app, it's going to maximize it so we can just see a little bit more. On the left hand side there, you got the quick access to the key apps that you're going to use in design and collaboration. But what I want to focus on right now is the middle two sections. This one called the Learning Center has a, a selection of videos made for new users, right? It's great to, to get a good understanding of the big picture with the tools on the 3D Experience platform. But check this out, Jason. When you click right here where it says view all videos, tips, and lessons, you get even more videos to get you started. Then some tips. And this link is to an amazing tutorial series on X Shape. I mean, if someone wanted to become a master at X Shape in the fastest time possible, this is what I'd recommend. Todd, I definitely wish I had that a few years ago when I first started using X Shape. It looks great. Now, real quick, if we go back to the Learning Center, what's the one section called Learning Modules? What's that all about? Yeah, those are online courses that you can go through at your own pace if you want to take a more formal approach. Yeah, that's super cool. But uh, usually I just jump in the software and try to figure out everything on my own. I think they call that the school of hard knocks. <laughs> but seriously, step-by-step -step courses, that's awesome too. Now, real quick back on the main welcome app page, the public community section links you to the makers made in 3D forum, a support forum, and then even the main SolidWorks forums if you want to check in with those users. And another awesome area is sample content, where you can just drag and drop those models into X-Design, and you can actually see how they were created. Okay, Todd, I'm ready to start modeling the top of the trophy inside X-Shape. But you know, one question that I had earlier on is, where do I find all my stuff? You know, stuff that I modeled from previous projects. You know, usually when I'm working, I can go right to the recent content, and it's what I've been working on lately. But where do I find the files that I created before? Oh, sure. Let's start here on the main X Design screen. And then a natural place to go is right to the open button there. That's going to open up a list of all the designs that's been saved. This way is good for a searching type of workflow when you don't know exactly where your part or assembly is. Now, what I recommend is to always put your designs in a bookmark. And then you can go to the content tab and see all your bookmarks and just browse through them. I like to create a bookmark right at the beginning of any of my new projects. And then everything I work on for that project gets saved right inside that bookmark. They're basically just like folders and help me stay super organized. Now, is this where I can go to delete files too? Yep, for sure. You can delete, rename, move to another bookmark. Uh, and, and just note with that, that you can remove a file from a bookmark, and that's different than deleting the file. Also, deleting a bookmark doesn't delete all the files in that bookmark, right? This is one of the ways where they're not exactly like folders, but yes, many tools for organizing your work are right here. And when you're in Bookmark Editor, any file in your bookmarks can be dragged from there up to the tab where XDesign is, and then into the window to open it up. So that's one of the best ways to find and then open files. All right, man, let's stop here. And in the next video, I'll show you how we can model the topper for the trophy. I absolutely love showing people what they can do inside X Shape.